Um, I always took pictures on sort of my phone or little kind of snap and point, point and snap cameras. Um, but I never thought of photography as a thing, like for me to do professionally. And my mum was a photographer, um, but she did, she did like nature and pet photography. She was really, really good. So I grew up watching her um, do that. And then I remember one night I went out and um, to a club and I'd taken this little camera that I'd got on holiday, to take with me on holiday. And I just took loads of pictures inside the club of the DJs and the lights and stuff. And I forgot, I didn't remember any of the pictures, but then the next day I looked at my camera and I had like 30 really like, like, not like big headed, but like they were really good for what it was. And you know, that I didn't know what I was doing. And I was like, oh my God, I actually really liked taking them. And I think they look like reasonable for someone who's never really done it before. And then, so I used some of the money from that I'd got from working. And, um, and bought my first camera. There's a photographer called Sean Desperengo that I worked with on a short film. He was the director and his photos are amazing. And he does lots of adverts and stuff. Um, he, yeah, and Rankin, but everyone says Rankin. Well, I did, it depends, well, yeah, I have to have something in my mind Otherwise, I feel like I've got a camera and and this person's standing in front of me and I just don't know what to do. Um, but when I've even thought about it just for five minutes, even I don't even have to write it down necessarily. It helps if I do. Usually I do little sketches um, before I have a shoot. Otherwise, yeah, there's just too many options and directions and whatever that if you've just thought about it, you don't get overwhelmed when you're actually on the shoot. I've got a... Canon 550D body, but I'm upgrading it soon, hopefully, uh, to a 5D Mark II or a 7D. Um, but I've got a lens, I use a 24mm 1.4 lens, at like L series lens, or a 24 to 70 L series 2.4 or 4. No, 2.4, I think, yeah. Uh, my latest exhibition was called What Makes Us Care and I I wanted I wanted to do an exhibition with The Big Issue um, for a long time. Um, Centre point I actually sort of bought into it later. But I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for The Big Issue. I had some ideas um, and I was still like thinking about it in my head. And then I remember I was walking in Camden with my friend and he saw um, someone that he vaguely recognised like from years ago sleeping rough outside Camden Tube Station in like a sleeping bag. And he was, really, he was only like 24, this guy or something. And he, my friend literally stopped like mid conversation with me and was like, oh my God. And just went over to him and started speaking. That was the idea basically that just because you don't recognise someone from some area of your own life, whether that's your old colleague, your schoolmate, or you know someone you've seen on TV or some programme you like to watch, whatever, just because you don't recognise that face doesn't necessarily mean that you you know that they're not they've got nothing to do with you and you can't relate to them at all. Um, and it was just about bringing that faint sense of familiarity to as many people as possible. And the only way I could think to do that was using people whose faces had been on uh, TV or something. Um, if I was doing the exhibition for you, I'd use like your family members or your friends, blah, 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 or people you'd once known. The big issue actually break the cycle of homelessness. And then I was like, yeah, but Centerpoint do that as well, actually. Like they take people in, uh, young people, who are homeless and they sort of house them for up to two years, uh, teach them how to cook, teach them how to look after their finances, educate them and then sort of put them back out into the world and don't just solve the temporary problem which is I don't have a place to sleep tonight, which is still a problem but you know long term it doesn't help as much. Um, and so I just thought it was really good to use both of them. Most of the people I knew just from knowing them, um, about a quarter of them I knew through friends, 
and like a, a couple of them, I literally, my like one of my friends would go, oh yeah, I, I know that guy, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'd meet them kind of cold, um, which was weird, but everyone was so, like Max Adler from Glee, he, I didn't know him at all. I just met up with him and um, he was really excited about it and did the pictures and yeah, everyone was really supportive. I've got loads of different ideas. When I have time, I'll do them. But yeah, there will be more stuff and hopefully more exhibitions. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to check out some of my photos, you can go to www.catherineprescott.com um, and subscribe to the Skins YouTube channel for lots more videos coming soon.